stream playlist I have turned down just a little bit because I don't want I, I, again I don't, I don't want copyright strikes Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep. I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to actually keep doing it. To, I'm gonna keep doing this quest until until um, I get the item drop because it's an item drop thing where it just drops. I should do the pit toss dungeon, but I'm still waiting for DLC. I'm gonna celebrate the new DLC that comes out. Always a pleasure. Stream, which I will probably start like probably. Remind me, what was it like, you like? See, like like a day like this would be perfect. So I don't work Sundays. A day like this would be we would perfect welcome the because I'd have to start at least at two o'clock because it would end up until it end up to a five hour stream. Help us out. It didn't. It, it would end up in a five hour stream considering how long it's going to take me to complete the the pit toss dungeon. All right, we're counting on you. But I do got some announcements. I do gotta say, please, for the love of God. Do not ask me about my ex-girlfriend's contact info. I will not, I don't, first of all, I don't give people's contact info to others. That's the thing, I don't give people, I don't give other people, I don't give people anybody's con a personal contact to others. I will not give no phone numbers or anything out like that, first, first of all. Second of all, I respect my ex because we, even though we, even though we broke up because she, she cheated on me, you know, she was, she was at least decent to me, you know, she was never a, she was never a bitch or anything like that to me, so she made, she made it pleasant. Number four, when you do that shit, it just shows the inner, creepy, social, awkward, beta type person you really are. I shouldn't say beta because it's, yeah, that sounds weak, but, uh, okay, I'm not gonna call it beta, I'm gonna call it what it is, weak. It shows you're weak if you need sloppy seconds. If you need to have sloppy seconds, it shows how weak you are. If you need to go find a drunk girl or piggyback on someone else's ex, it says a lot about you. So, for uh, for any guys watching the stream, or anyone who watches Man, my hot. YouTube video, anyone who watches my like YouTube sweltering. videos, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, did, I would never, I would never ask for someone's ex. Uh, I would never ask about someone's ex. Like you know, I wouldn't ask uh, someone's ex, like someone who's an ex boyfriend of somebody, asking for their ex girlfriend's number. That's just creepy, weird, and it just shows that you're a desperate creep. Just to let you know, and this is for the guys out there. Don't ever ask that. Don't ever ask about someone's ex to get um, an ex-girlfriend's number. You know, someone's ex-girlfriend, especially if you know them. If, if you don't know them, then that's different. Okay, that's that's all different. But if you actually add someone on Facebook friends and you know the person you're a friend with on Facebook, please do not. Please, re uh, please refrain from asking. Please refrain from asking people. For their ex-girlfriend's phone number, if you know them, if you have them on Facebook, it's creepy, okay? It's just creepy, okay? 
It shows you're a creep, a social awkward creep who's weak. You know. So I just gotta put that right there. That's the moral of the story. Some guy asked me that. It kept going on, and I was like, "Oh, can I have the number, please? I need the number." I was like, "Go, go out of yourself. Go find her on Facebook and out of yourself." I probably already seen somebody. I mean, she's a, she's a very gorgeous girl. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna lie to myself. So you know. But even then, even then, she wants she she wants to tear you apart, bro. She wants. I'm talking about the guy who's asking for the number because she wants to see how creepy you are. You know, only creepy, desperate people do that stuff. And you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do to talk to women. I try to learn how to talk to women. How about that? I'll tell you. Won't you actually go to a public place and learn how to you know talk to girls? That's better. Yeah. You know. Less creepy and less desperate. And when you get your own for the phone number from a girl, it gets more reward. Same thing with getting laid. If you get laid by a girl, it's more rewarding, you know. It, it's it's more rewarding when you get it because you earn it, first of all. We're alive. Second of all, celebrate by eating something dead. Just learn to talk to women. There's videos on YouTube. You got YouTube, don't you? Why don't you go look up videos how to do that? How to talk to girls? If you don't, if you have a problem talking to girls, and now if you're like me, who uh, who don't, you know, could just talk to anybody, and it don't, you know, you know, just 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 go up to a girl and talk to her like a regular person, you know. That's it. You don't need to do all that creepy. Asking people for their ex girlfriend's numbers. That's something. Yep. That, right. Why? Why? I don't understand. I don't understand people. Well, I, well, that's that's all I gotta say about that story. To be quite honest, because that's the creepiest, weirdest thing I've been asked. And it, okay, this dude's been going on my. Facebook, this dude's been going on my Twitter, this dude's been going on my Tumblr, asking for my ex's number, phone number. I mean, this guy's on some travelmatic level creepy. I mean, if you're that desperate where you have to go on all my social medias just to ask for my ex-girlfriend's number, dude. How about this? Man up, grow some balls, and talk, go go find some go go to just go to the shopping center and go find some girl to talk to. You know, get get your own number. Like for real, but but this guy's been asking me for a couple of days. Kept pestering me, kept pestering me, kept pestering me, kept pestering me, over and over and over. I, I mean, I eventually just blocked his ass. But for anyone who asks me about my ex -girl girlfriend, I'm just gonna put the block. on I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that ass banned. The ass is gonna get banned. <laughs> I'm gonna have a low tier guy coming there uh, trying to sue my ass because I just, I just used this thing. But no, seriously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that ass banned. Next person who's asking for my, the next person who's asking for my ex girlfriend's phone number or asking me um, how is she doing and all that stuff, just so you can hook up with them, you're gonna get that ass banned because it's just, it, you know, no. I will not do. It. I don't give out people's information. It's creepy. You need to reevaluate re your, re your values. Go talk to a real girl. By you know, you know go talk to a. Well, what I mean, go talk to a real girl in public. You know, you don't need to hop on someone's ex girlfriend in order to get. Some, if you do, then you're a desperate creep who's weak. You know, you got no balls. If you have to be so desperate. And if you, and, you know, if you're that desperate, I don't know why you guys don't just pay for a prostitute. I mean, if, you, if you're that desperate, Here we are. but you don't even nice. have to do that if you actually learn how to talk to females like a real person and not, you know, asking people for their number, asking people for their numbers. What kind of fuck shit is this? Simps are just getting creepier and creepier. Stop it. Stop.
No more. No more of that stuff. Just no more. Hmm. But anyways. I love most. I, I love. I can only drink the zero carbs. The zero carb ultra black. I can only drink zero carb monsters. I can't drink the hot, the regular ones because only the low carb I can have. <laughs> regular will mess me up. Yeah, I'm keep doing we stack quest only. Until, uh, Come until back again. If you don't mind. You gotta wait till this, you gotta wait till the Griffin Feather drops, so I guess I have to keep going. Welcome, welcome. I guess it's kind of trained though, Thanks so it's not bad. Help. I can. You must be hungry. What can I get you? We would welcome the help. I was actually planning to make a video about that though, but Show I guess I'll do it on stream. But it is kind of a PSA. Just, just whatever you guys do, don't, don't ask anyone in your friends list or anyone you're good friends with uh, for their ex girlfriend's or ex boyfriend's number. That's just, just don't, just, just, just don't. That's the moral of that story. Just don't do it. No, just don't. Okay, no. It's no. Oh, it, it's creepy as hell. Like, it just shows Everything desperation yep. on a new mm -hmm. level. I've seen desperation before. But this is more than just calling and crying on the phone and singing some R&B song, begging for her to come back type of desperate. That's, I mean, this type of level of desperation, you obviously, yeah. But it's like, I don't know why these guys don't just, you know, talk to a girl like a regular person. Is it that hard? Are girls that scary or something like that? They go, but it's the same kind of introverts that go like, oh, oh, she's out of my league. She's out of my league. What am I going to do? Oh, no. She's out she of my league. Bitch, every pussy looks the same. Just like for girls, every dick looks the same. My goodness. Oh, but no, seriously. It gets on my nerves. It's like, it's all the same. I don't understand where they act like they're scared to talk to them. It's, but it's this, I'm telling you, dude, Spelsy, it's the same introverts that go around getting scared. Like, I'm scared to talk to a girl. She out of my league. Is she out of my league? What am I gonna do? Oh no! I don't know. Maybe develop confidence by going to a gym and bodybuilding. Put on some good clothes. Go to, I don't know, go anywhere that's a public place and go just start talking to some females. Oh my goodness, they're not gonna bite you. They're, wow. It's, 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 it's that stuff that, it's the same kind of mentality that these, that these people have that they're like, Can I get your ex girlfriend's number? I need your ex girlfriend's number because I'm, I'm scared to talk to, I'm scared, I'm, I'm scared to talk to, I'm scared to talk to girls because you know they might be out of my league. It's the same people. It's the same exact people. <laughs> it's the same exact people. How about just go talk to a female? Get a number. You, you, you get, uh, you know what? It's more rewarding when you go out there and get shit yourself instead of just, you know, try to piggyback on people's leftovers, you know. I already made videos about this stuff too. Just go talk to a female nice a of ass person. You don't even need. I'm telling you, you're not gonna need. I guarantee you, you're not gonna. <laughs> you're not gonna need a number of someone's ex girlfriend, which you can get numbers you know by yourself. Trust me, you ain't gonna need that shit. 
No. But no. Wow. This it's just, like yeah, that is fucked up. It's just creepy. That's what's making our communities look bad, too. Is the fact that people do this weird shit. I'm going all out. Just don't get too careful. I'm gonna try to get the grip of feather in any kind of way I can, so. Gotcha! That's why I say being an introvert's not cute at all. I'm trying to make it cute and romantic at the least the uh, the SJW is trying to make it cute and romantic to be an introvert. You don't want to be an introvert. You don't. That was close. I'm fine. No, it's good to, it's, it, you know, it's okay to like what you like, just like, like with any obsession, you just gotta, you know, not be, you, you gotta be able to be a functioning adult, it's just life, you don't want to be a functioning adult, you know, as long as you're a functioning adult, you should be able to do anything you want to do, but you're not functioning if you're asking people for their ex girlfriends numbers, that's not functioning. Man, that that kind of social awkwardness level is way over nine thousand. I mean, that's that's an unspoken rule. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I come from a single parent home, but at least you know, at least my grade taught me not to do stupid shit like that. Like seriously, she taught me all the unspoken rules. I want the Well, I gotta go back to the drawing board. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm gonna walk this. I'm gonna actually run into some red giants. But, it's like, there's a, there's says to call it spoken rules. And what it is, you just fuck. Everyone knows it. It's just one, it's just one of those things. You know. Yeah, everyone should know. You don't know that you weren't taught anything in that song. Yeah. No one is your nice guy. Yeah. So lately I've been getting nothing from these people. Nothing from these uh, red humans. Nothing. No experience. It's like, no matter what level you are, you usually get a lot of experience if they're hard to beat. Time to go on my way to check. Well, I just decided to stream. I was going to stream before 5 o'clock, but 5 o'clock, I'm going back to the wall. Yeah. You know. So I might just stream right now and get it over with. I don't know one shit. Plus it's Sunday, I'm working on this. So. At least for this time. I don't know what time to do for you. You know. Get the, you know, get, 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 you know, get some grinding in. Oh yeah. You're on fire today. You gotta switch a bunch of stores. You can't expect that you're attacking all the different stores. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use different you know, weapons. You mix it up with speed. You want speed, you want mix. You want high attack. You want to have a weapon engine. Oh, yeah.
for comfort. I'm comfortable just being alive. You want to keep my game on? It's volume that way on. I'm also opening my Google uh, Hangout again. Again, I'm reopening my Google Hangout. Everything in order? Yep. All right. doing the same quest if anyone wants to know because I gotta keep doing it until I actually get a uh, drop of the Griffin's Wing. I really want to go back and do the Pitoss Dungeon, but I'm gonna wait till the DLC comes out as Celebration. It's gonna be Celebration in the new DLC that's coming out. There's more DLC coming out. Then I'll go ahead and do the Pitoss Dungeon and then finish the Secret Dungeon. Only thing is that I'd probably have to stream Sunday because it's probably going to be an all day thing. I'm going to estimate at least four hours is what it's going to take to complete the Pitoss dungeon. It is quite comforting to see other people about. so cold I had to stop going to the gym for it until it, until it warms up. I really can't wait to, to I can't wait till winter's completely over. I can't wait till March. Always a pleasure. Get rid of this disgusting, you know, cold weather. You did well. Alright, I'm gonna go back and do it again. What'll it be today? It's a jungle out there, both beasts and demons making a nuisance of themselves. Be careful, eh? Don't forget to pack plenty of potions. But and for now on, I'm gonna start. In, I'm gonna start ignoring all social media messages pertaining to anything that deals with my ex-girlfriend. I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna ignore my inbox. So, so if some clown wants to put me ask for her number, 
Yeah, it, 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 it's just gonna go unheated. I'm gonna purposely ignore it. Well, plus, then again, when I do go to work, I, you know, I don't everything in order. When I'm not busy. Yep. I'm over ten. Mm -hmm. I'm busy. Just to not answer, you know, stupid questions, because you know, it's like, you know, you ask stupid questions. It's like playing stupid games. You get stupid prizes. Yeah, it is, because you know, it's just, you know. And I, I don't know, because the first thing I say is like, why don't you go find her yourself and ask her this stuff? Don't come to me with all that stuff. And I told him straight up, say, this makes you look creepy. It don't make you look cool at all. It just makes you look desperate. The fact that you have to leech on someone's leftovers. No one wants to do shit for themselves anymore. They want everything handed to them. That's what they want. They want everything handed to them. It's like, that's not the real world right there. And even if you do get government assistance and handouts, you still gotta pay your bills. You still gotta pay rent. You know, you gotta learn to budget your money. You can't just go blow it all everywhere. So it don't really matter. It's like you still gotta you still gotta walk up the stairs. No one's gonna walk up the stairs for you. That's why I said, you know, instead of asking people for their ex girlfriend's numbers, why don't you just go you know, to a public place, maybe a shopping mall, I don't know, wherever you like to go, I don't care. Wherever you want to go and talk to some females and get numbers. But see, what it is, we live in a generation where people want everything handed to them. They want everything in their hand. They always have their hands out. But that's okay, because you know what, my, my ex would probably tear the living shit out of this dude. Anyways, he'd probably tell him, the, how much of a loser and creepy he is for the fact that he's <laughs> but it's like we, have, we live in a generation where people think well people want things in their hand all the time everyone's got their hands open give me this give me that give me this it don't work like that in the real world it really doesn't it, it's sad that these people believe that That's why I don't like political correctness, if anyone wants to know. This is why I don't like political correctness. Because it's now it's just, it, now it's just, Taking uh, it, back, back in the day, political correctness was a good thing. Because nowhere. it was to actually to protect people from being, from being oppressed. But nowadays, it's just, nowadays, it's like, if you don't give me, if you don't give me, if, if you don't give me handouts, if you don't do my homework for me, if you don't give me, you know, Hook you, you know, hook hook me up with girls instantly, or this, or you know, if you don't, if, if I don't receive anything, now you're the bad guy. You're a bigot if you don't, if you don't, if you don't give things, if you don't, if, if things don't go my way. Well, let me tell you that we're, the in reality, nothing goes anyone's way. Guys, nothing goes anyone's here. way. Cool. But they're not used to having well, it because they have parents that deal. spoil them. Everything to kids. When they like when they go to college or the workforce or the club or the mall, they expect every, all the results to be good. That's why I said I'm, I'm against. That's why I said I'm against the because now it's just used. As, it's used as a ploy to just you know make sure you get everything you want. It's like, well, the world don't work that way. You don't just get everything you want magic. And what it is, they think they deserve respect. It's like, you, respect is not given, it's earned. You know, it is earned. If you want people to respect, you gotta show people why you need respect. You gotta show people your skills. You gotta show people, you know. You gotta, you, you gotta show people the way you act and make sure you act, you know, well and probably you bring yourself well. The Prince of Pain. Yep. Now, 
But that's what I said. If, for people who was confused about my whole hotel, uh, um, anti political crisis, I'm not, it's it's not I'm me. really anti political crisis. I don't like tonight. the way it's used now. I don't like the way it's used where people just use things just to have it their way all the time. It's like the real world don't work that way. It don't work that way. I mean, what, you know, you, you're going to grow up, you're going to have a boss that will holler in your face if you're not doing your work. If you're not doing your work right, the boss, the boss is going to cuss you out. That's just going to happen. You're going to have to just take it. Because if you're not doing your work right, then I'm sorry. They, they have a right to get mad for not doing your work right. It's like, you know... There's, you know, no one has good work ethic no more. Like, these millennials, they just want things to, to be put in their hands. That's all it is. Now, I say that now, but watch me lose my Twitch or Facebook in a couple days. Because I hurt, because it so don't now, make me feel good. Because it doesn't make me feel good. I want to feel good. I'm sorry, the world is not uh, the world me, is not unicorns and flowers, no okay? Leave it to me. <laughs> the world is not no, unicorns and flowers. Kidding. You know. <laughs> the real world's pretty nasty, I'm telling you. Be out there in that world, you'll you know. No one's gonna give a shit. I might have asked before, about but you, is uh, everything about really all that good? I might have answered before, yeah. but yes it is. Yeah, out there in the real world, man, I'm telling you. The real world changes people. But yeah, it's the same intro. It is the same introverts that uh, ask for people's exes numbers, phone numbers. Instead of go out there and get it themselves because they want it handed to them. They want it in the palm of their hand. They got their hands out like this all, every day, all day, no problem. It's like they think Christmas is all year and everybody's Santa Claus. I mean, even whether you believe in Santa Claus or not, isn't the whole thing with Santa Claus is if you're a good boy or a good girl, you get things. It's not, it's not a matter of do you have your hand out or not because <laughs> Anyone can have their hand out. And it's just, you know. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have to ask for stuff. But it's like, my when when, when I ask for donations, it's optional. I don't, I don't actually hold people on it. They can do whatever they want. I don't even have my, here, I don't even have my, I don't even have my PayPal link to Twitch. Like that's how, that's how optional that is. I don't even have a link it's to my Twitch. I don't even here. have. It Just leaked to, to my Twitch, cool. you know. I don't even have yeah. it leaked to my Any Twitch. Any chance of in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable... Because I'm able to get stuff by own. I'm able to do that. You know, I work a good job. Nine dollars an hour. Plus, I get extra money from other sources, too. So, it's like... You dream of driving me over. You know... I can get, I can get me stuff. It just take me a while, cause I, I mean, I got, cause what it is for me is I gotta budget better. That's all there is. I don't budget really good. That's just my main weakness. I don't budget really good. Especially when I'm in shopping centers. That if there's like a big deal going on, then I get suckered in that. But I guess most people do, anyways. Welcome, welcome. You're in one piece. Yeah, I'm gonna start ignoring the messages though. Just cause uh, you know, you I don't see hungry. no reason. I don't, I don't see no reason you? to answer because, man, when, no, when I read that message about uh, they do want my ex number, I was like, all right, we're counting on you. What? That creepy much.
What would happen to that guy who takes photos? That one dude. The guy with the, the really big, heavy set dude wearing um, a meteor shirt. Kind of looked like a white version of Vanilla World. Everything in order. Yep. around if you want to see me keep slaying the griffin until I get the wing. Because that's all I'm going to be doing. Again, before I... I'm, I'm not going to do Pit Toss Secret Dungeon until the DLC comes out. It's going to be a celebration thing. And then I'll come back to the Secret Dungeons after I get that Black Hood. Because that's that's what's in the Pit Toss Dungeon, actually. Though, it's actually a good item because it actually makes you... It, it actually makes you... Let's see... And more like all your enemies will miss their attacks for like but five times like they'll get like five misses they'll at least only land one attack at least so the good news is that when you do new game plus though your stuff carries with you so that even even your level and your prestige so I'm probably I'm probably gonna jack it up to hard after I get everything in this game I'm probably gonna do new game plus and jack everything up to hard because with all the stuff I got, and then I get the black hood, I'm gonna be in more. I only did easy modes just so I could get all the items, just so I'm able to get all the extra items. Because I, I want, I want, I want all the items. When I mean all the items. I want everything, all every single item I could possibly find in this game. Well, except for the treasures, those who sell and make weapons out of them. But like weapons, you know. It should be a nice change of pace. The weapons, food, key items, uh, armor. That's stuff I'm keeping. Because at least 
you can command or everybody else is doing their own damn thing. I hate when people do that shit. Don't do your damn thing. No. Stop showboating. Okay, let's... No. I want, I want to look at items, not excursions. Missing key items. Where's Griffin's breast? Maybe it's in key items. Actually, can you buy clothes in the game? We're alive! Let's celebrate by eating something dead! Yeah, I got the Kingsley stuff. Yeah, I got casual, it comes with it. I had the King's Glaive, but I want something else. I guess it's DLC only. You know what, to be agile though, I think I'm going to change out the jacket and do the dungeon, the pit toss dungeon. Because, I mean, I'm going to need to get out there. Alright, is there any other quest I can do? Oh yeah, I gotta go report it. I'm going to do that first, I gotta go report it. No deal. Even payment's important in the Final Fantasy Everything game. in order. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't have enough. I'm rich in every, in every Final Fantasy game. I was in the bridge. It's so cold out here. I got a thermal shirt under this. It's that cold out there. It's cold. 
cold. Here we are. We made it. Always a pleasure. You did well. Well, it looks like we're going to do something else. I can't. I, I can't get that stuff to drop. I can't get the drop of that. Remind me, <sighs> what was it you liked again? That's not drop. I understand. It's hard as this. You can't take the atoms with you. Too hot to move. I mean, I can find some items at present. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Find some items at present.
the finest room in the house is available for your immediate comfort. Give me the present. I'm gonna actually see if there's any items in the present. Thanks for the tip. I already know. Tell me so that I don't know. Like, tell me how to beat the pit toss dungeon. That's what I want to know. I'm getting some sleepy. I got. There's gonna be some items. Alright, pretty good. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so I can go back to um, so I can go back to Hammerhead in the present. So I'll, I'm trying to get all the items. So that's probably what it is. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing. That's right, because I don't remember seeing him in the candy. I'm gonna fight him anyways.
not making it through here. Think there's any other way around? We might want to head under. Wow. It's one hell of a battle they waged here. Safety first, everybody!
while I've got the chance. We needn't waste more time. Yeah. We got no worse for her. I got to see what this place looks like before the events of Keith's play. I mean, before the events of Keith's play. Ifrit, the Infernian. He doesn't share the Glacian's fondness right. for mankind. But you can expect a, I get a funny more friend again. welcome. Okay, I, I like this. I you can actually fight bosses again. Above. Okay, I'll get on stream. I'm gonna turn off my playlist. I like the battle. Stay cool. Ones. He's gonna bring the heat. Hang in there, buddy. Stay down. We'll keep them busy. By the way, he brings the heat in this game. He actually creates the storm. Before he strikes again. Yeah, she creeps. Here it comes! Yeah. 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 What that is, is he in the sun. I got your back! Yeah, you got me with your back. Let's go! Yeah. 
Games, he looked like a fire lion with a giant sword. That's, that's all he looked like. There's a, be a fire behemoth that could just stand on his two legs in the older games. This, I mean, this one, they actually made it. Man, what badass. did she say? Looking. Told me to bring back the light. That's our next stop. On we go.
Again, it's gonna be a long time because you know the friend who's doing all the digital, the, you know, all the digital stuff is like. Again, he's going to long school, last, so the citadel. I'm not gonna press on this. So Just up ahead. You know. It's all lit up. Guess he's expecting company. He wants this as bad as we do. Think the elevator's working? Huh. Sure looks like it. He is really taking us by the hand. <sighs> I'll save our legs the walk up. Then we'll go look for a rest area. I'm disappointed. There's no items in this area. Really disappointed. Let's go back to the pass. Yeah, first we'll go ahead and get some rest, because then uh, I can use some rest in real life, though. Uh. go back. I'm obviously not hearing things correctly. Holy shit! That's creepy. Okay, let's go by here. Don't don't go any further. I want to hear them talk. Hell no. Hell no. No, we're leaving this time period. Fuck that shit. That is creepy. Fuck that shit. No, no. The things so red guys can't talk. To, uh -uh. I liked it better when they couldn't talk. Yeah, we're, we're calling on, bro. We're getting the fuck out of here. You know what? I want to leave you guys with a good taste. I think we'll go to Autissa. Let's do, let's go to past Autissa. Uh, yeah. Fuck no. No. I don't even want a picture with those things in there. Fuck that shit. Fuck that thing. Uh-uh. They, 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 they were using English. I like, I like that when they didn't talk. Hell no. Talking that Latin English shit. Fuck, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's Altissa. Alt I don't know why they call it Altissa. It looks like Venice, if you ask me. Yeah, it's supposed to be like. Yeah, it's supposed to be like. This is a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here, quit and right here then. Uh, I am not going in. Did you see did you I know I know you heard those things talk. Fuck shit. I saw I heard them talk. Damn, hell no. 
Even Pyramid Head and Silent Hill doesn't talk. But them things talk like normal fucking human fucking beings. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. That's too nah. Okay, Square Enix, it's time to tone down the demonic level for these demons in the game. Just a little bit. I mean, remember, this is a Final Fantasy game, not a horror, you know, not a horror movie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Still thinking about it. Fuck this shit. I'm still thinking about it. I didn't get no items there. Let me see if there's any. I don't want to get that sticker set. Bye now. Okay, it's about to heat up, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to quit the stream if you don't mind. I have to quit the stream. My PlayStation's heating up real bad. It's gonna shut off and shut the stream off, and I won't be able to archive. So I'm gonna stop the stream later. So see you guys. Have a nice day. May the crystal be with you, my arch fiends. <laughs>